So I might have got a new job. I've been interested in the Disney International programs for about seven years now, um, ever since 2008 when I first visited Disneyland in Anaheim. And I remember getting home and just Googling, how do I work for Disney? Because I fell in love and I just needed to work at the parks in some capacity. And yeah, so I found out about the international programs and finally, after seven years of waiting, I applied for the Cultural Exchange Program in August, uh, sorry, not August, <laughs> in October 2014 uh, to go in August 2015. Now the Cultural Exchange Program that I'm taking part in is a six to 12 month cultural exchange, funny that, <laughs> um, to work in Walt Disney World in Florida. Now you just need to be an Australian or a New Zealand citizen with a passport, obviously, um, and you need to be either currently studying in tertiary education or have finished within like the last year. But you can double check all the rules and everything in the link below. I applied in October and I didn't hear anything back until February. So I got my emails February the 17th, um, the same day as everyone else in New Zealand. We got the role checklist and an invitation to schedule our presentation and interview. Now, the role checklist, basically, it's just a list of all the roles that um, you could possibly do on the program, um, information about them, and you've got to rank them from you really want to do it to you have no interest whatsoever. And I really suggest you to be very, think a lot about it, and be very, very honest with the form, because, you know, you really don't want to be stuck in a job that you hate for six or 12 months while you're in Florida at Disney World. You know, you'd rather, Go, really go for and show passion for the ones that you really want. And then March the 28th came, which was the presentation and interview date. And let me tell you something, if you are passionate in any capacity about Disney and you go to the presentation, you will cry. I swear, I cried like three times and Jill the recruiter was like sitting right next to me when one of the videos was playing and I was sobbing my eyes out, trying not to look at her because I was like, don't look at me, I'm sobbing. But um, yeah, she must have thought I was completely fine because I got in, so. <laughs> but my interview, at first I was really, really nervous um, and I thought I would bit quiet and I wasn't quite happy with how I was in the beginning of the interview. But halfway through the interview I felt a lot more comfortable and we were, it was just like a chat basically. Um, a lot of yes or no questions that you know they have to ask you like your tattoos and piercings and that kind of stuff um, and uh, just if you're comfortable uh, dealing with guest safety and that kind of stuff. Um, and then they measured me for character performers so that was pretty exciting and we had a cute little chat about heights and yeah, it was just, it was a really nice end to the interview, I think. So I left the interview feeling extremely excited, but also kind of nervous because I knew I'd been a bit quiet in the beginning. But we didn't even have to wait that long, and I'm incredibly lucky because I know the wait times for um, a lot of other programs and even other people in New Zealand were a lot longer. And even as I'm speaking now, Australia haven't had their interviews and they're leaving the same time as us, I think. So we were told the first week of April that we would find out and Easter was in the first week of April. So we were really kind of nervous about when we'd find out because we didn't think they'd be open on Easter. But on April the 4th, we woke up and we had our congratulations emails. I woke up at six o'clock in the morning I don't know why, I rolled over, I checked my emails, and I was like, oh my god, and of course I didn't go back to sleep, I was just up, and I'm starting to cry now, because I'm just, it just means so much to me to get in, and I'm accepted for character performers, so I'm so excited to be friends with really cool people like Mickey and Minnie and Daisy and Donald and Lilo and Stitch and other characters in my height range. I am so, so super, super excited and guess what, I'm going to bring you guys along on my adventure as if there was any doubt. Um, I leave New Zealand on July the 16th and I officially check into Disney housing on August the 10th. So I'm obviously going to be doing a lot of traveling beforehand. I am going to VidCon, as I've mentioned before. We're going to Disneyland for three days and I'm going up to San Francisco to visit some friends. Then flying halfway across the country, I am stopping in Nashville. 
I'm going to New York City, I'm going to Washington DC, um, and then I am staying a night in Orlando before we check in on the 10th. So I am like beyond excited still. Every day is like, every day is full of me thinking about Disney, thinking about going. I've got so much to do before I go. Um, I'm sure I need to mention other things in this video, but um, I will be making plenty more Disney videos, obviously. If you have any questions about um, the international programs, the cultural exchange program, my interview or anything about all the steps on the journey, um, let me know in the comments and I'll try and answer them. I'll answer them. After I've got all of my visa stuff sorted out, um, my documentation and that, I'll post another video going over all of that stuff. At the moment it's a bit of a in my brain because there's so much that I need to do and yeah, it's coming up really, really soon. It's 96 days today. I will be leaving the country, so I am so... Oh, I can't even explain how excited I am. Anyway, if you are excited to join me on this journey, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. To this happy future Disney cast member, to you, have a magical day, and I will see you next time. Bye! I think it's really important to remember the message behind the Be Cruelty Free campaign throughout the entire year, not just in one week. So I'm extending last week's vision onto this week, and today I'm going to talk about my favourite New Zealand uh, skincare company, which is Cruelty Free.